All right, what's up, everybody? Today we're going to be looking at a world map from 1847. That top left corner picture was uh, London. There's some natives. And uh, here you see America. So this is showing California, and uh, it's showing the port of San Francisco. And then right below it, it is mentioned that was stopped there by Sir Francis Drake in the 1500s, um, which implies that San Francisco was named after Sir Francis Drake, which seems pretty common or obvious to me. But the conventional narrative says that Sir Francis S. Drake landed north of San Francisco, um, which is weird because it's apparently in 1848 it was still a small settlement. So to like list this as on a world map seems odd to me. Um, and uh, so in 1848, still a small settlement, and then the California Gold Rush brought 49ers because 1849. Um, prospectors uh, raising the population from 1,000 to 25,000 in one year. Um, Now, apparently there are 11 keys by which Francis Fletcher uh, gave detail of Sir Francis S. Drake's landing in California. The first is that the bay is one-half degree or 38 degrees uh, north latitude, which lines up with San Francisco perfect. Um, the bay is in coast Miwok territory. Don't know what that is. Islands of St. James are not far out without the bay. If you look on Google Maps, which I'll pull up a picture... Um, that is directly outside of San Francisco. Um, there's no straits leading into the continent yet. White banks represent English Channel. The climate was very foggy. Okay, California, San Francisco. Uh, the bay is second. Oh, okay, and this is a depiction of, I think that's uh, Paris, yeah, before the reset. Um, so, yeah. There's a couple more of them, but you get the idea. It seems like it's kind of describing San Francisco perfectly to a T. Now, the interesting thing about this is that they don't credit San Francisco at all with Sir Francis S. Drake. The common narrative is that San Francisco was named after St. Francis of Assisi, which doesn't have any direct correlation. If Sir Francis S. Drake landed there and it was named after him, why would you lie about that, you know? Um, now, the bay they're crediting with being Drake's Bay is just north of San Francisco, so it seems to be splitting hairs. I pulled up the 38th parallel and on uh, Wikipedia, and it pulled up... So there you see Independent Tartary. Mm, interesting. Independent Tartary right there. But I pulled up the 38th parallel, and California passes right through Stockton, the 38th parallel, which passes right through... You guessed it, San Francisco. Now, there's also a hotel named after uh, Sir Francis S. Drake. And here the map's labeled Japan as Nifon. That's another interesting little detail. Um, but, yeah, there's a hotel named after Sir Francis S. Drake in San Francisco. And it is very Tartarian-themed. Um, and you have... Uh, these like decorated guards. Now this map is huge, people. This is like a six foot long by three feet um, big long map in four pages. So I'm kind of giving it to you bit by bit here. Um, you just see depictions of all these weird spiraling flowers and all this intricacy. Um, but if you were to see the inside of the Sir Francis Drake Hotel, you would know that it's very Tartarian themed, very elaborate, very exotic and bougie. Now this is Constantinople, looking like a classic Tartarian kind of city. All those spires, looks like something floating above the building too. I don't know if that's an ink error or what, but it looks like little UFO dudes flying. Um, yeah, just a beautiful beautiful city and now we have uh, the Bay of Naples which looks like it's depicting Pompeii um, if you look at pictures of Bay of Naples today the volcano looks slightly different and this is New York looking old as fuck 
Um, you can see some of the coliseums in the distance, all those spires, uh, a lot of flagpoles, a lot of flagpoles without flags. So, yeah, I just thought you would find this interesting with the Sir Francis Drake mystery, because apparently San Francisco was nothing in uh, 1848, and then a year later, now it has 30,000 people there. Um, and we all know about the Panama Pacific Exposition, which was the last reset of San Francisco. They also had the San Francisco Fire in 1906, which destroyed a lot of the ancient buildings. Um, this is Canton. I looked it up, and it is a, uh, I think it's a Chinese, um, Chinese trading post, but you see an American flag there, which is interesting. Um, but all the arch architecture around the world seems pretty similar. These are some high quality depictions too. It seems like almost um, like photographs of some kind. And here we see, uh, looks like some type of Asian culture. And uh, yeah, I'm at a coffee shop, guys. So if this is kind of a little bit noisy, let me know. And you see this little inlet bay here in Australia, which is interesting because there's a map that shows Australia with a lake in it or an ocean. Um, New Guinea, just all these tiny islands. I know people have been asking about Fiji a lot in the comments. Um, I haven't been looking for it um, explicitly, but I will keep an eye out for it. Here you can see how fat this map is. I couldn't even lay it all out at, in one because it was so huge. So, yeah, I just thought you would find that interesting. <coughs> the map of the world, Mercator's projection. Um, showing San Francisco two years before it was a relevant city, so. Now another interesting thing that coincides with San Francisco's creation is the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which seems to have occurred right around the time um, when San Francisco was kind of being refaced. Um, it was signed in February 2nd of 1848, and it basically gave over everything past the Rio Grande, including Texas, California, half of New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, and Colorado, all to America. Um, so I don't know exactly what this has to do with San Francisco's new ownership, but it definitely coincides directly. Um, and um, at the end here, I'm going to put up some uh, comparison pictures of Canton. Um, and here we see mentions of Magellan traveling around the world um, and uh, yeah the Marquesas Washington Islands um, so yeah it's just a massive map I, I mean I don't know how they got these here's the Bay of Naples once again um, showing you that volcano what it looks like now this is some mountains in Antarctica the Queen Maud Light Range or Canton um, the Canton system was used as trade uh, more Canton. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, appreciate y'all. Uh, the semester's finally over. It was a crazy year. So um, thanks to everybody in this channel who's given me so much love and so much support. I'm going to try to keep making videos at least once a week. Um, and yeah, if you guys have anything specific you want to see, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep on uh, posting these map videos. Also, I made this stained glass piece for a friend, this little psychedelic mushroom. Um, if anybody wants that or something like that, let me know. This is me DJing over the weekend. Yeah, crazy, crazy time to be alive, y'all. So uh, stay safe, stay warm, Merry Christmas.